In this next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn a bass clarinet into another instrument. We've already done this. From this. Um, from this. But now, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. So, here's what we need, here's what we need to do first. Go back to bass clarinet 1. Select this whole thing, but double click on it. To copy it. We don't need this anymore, so we can just paste over it. Okay, we also need to have three more of these. You see why soon. So we'll paste this one over here. Now with this, now with this, click this over here. Tap in two fifty four because half of five hundred eight. Then copy this number. Actually. You press control and you hold control and you press X to cut, then control shift V to mix paste it, and you get this. But they had to make it half the volume, so you go to where I clicked amplify. And then I click over here, but just type in 50%. Press OK. And then you copy this to over here. And then you're going to copy this. And then go over here. Then you mix paste it like this. Make sure this is on invert right here. Press OK, it sounds like this. So you go from this to this. Next thing you do is we need to copy this, click all on its very edge, and then you mix paste it. Turn off invert, click on loop paste, make sure it's on 39, press OK. Then the same thing over here. So we have this and this. Next step is going to something called generate tones. Now, if you only have a setting, then you don't need to worry about anything. But if you don't, then make sure you have this number right here. So now I'll press OK. Sound like that. Standing over here. And you press OK. The next thing is go back to this one, undo this by pressing um, Control Z, and then copy both Control C, then go back and redo it, then mix paste it with this off, then you get this. Same thing over here. You undo this, copy it, redo it, and then mix paste it. So the next thing you do is copy this and put it over here. So now we need to do this. So, this next one is... Pause, I guess. Okay, next step is make sure you have the maximum being at 20, the minimum being at negative 40 and then you drag this corner to the very bottom and drag this one to the very actually keep this one here click on spline curves drags all the way up so like this and then you press ok the next step is this this would be kind of a hard thing to do but I'll guide you through it you click over here. So right now we have this thing called 3N plus 1 harmonics 7560 samples. Okay, you copy this. Make three more copies over here. And then over here, you just do this. You um, first type in 1 7 is 1080, like this. And then you cut and paste it, like this. Keep doing it, or mix paste I mean. Keep doing it until you get to become only this long. And then you type in 540, like this. I meant 540. And then you cut and mix paste it. So like that. And then you copy this, this, and this. 
Now with this over here, you need to invert to like this. Click on one, then invert this one. Click on 180. And do one over here, invert again. And then 360, also do one again. And now this is what it sounds like. Now you copy this, put it over here, and mix pages so it becomes this. Next step is to um, select only this portion right here. And then make sure that 50, so it's like this. But then you have to select this whole thing and then invert it so it becomes this. So now we're ready to do this step. So we're on this one right now. Okay, next step is you copy this and you paste it over here without that happening. Paste it over here twice. And then you go to where it says filter and you um, first you fly it out. Make sure this is 100 and 0. And then you turn it off so it's linear now. Actually, I need this. Um, this core right here needs to get the maximum. And to get this math, so I'm making a new tab by right clicking. So the number we need to get to is 508. So we do 508. The number that we have right now is at 540. And most of it by. Oops, well, let me do that again. So 508 divided by 540. Okay, so now you multiply it by half of the sample, which is 22,050. And that's the number you need to copy, minimize, and that's what you need to put over here with this being off first. So now it's like this. Same thing with this one over here. And then this one right here. Okay, next step is go to something, the thing is called stretch, which is this icon right here. You go back to that number we did, divide by 22, like 220 and a half. And then you copy this, same thing with this one right here. So from this to this right here. Now I promise that that when you do this, it makes the um, clicks a little quieter, so we have to compensate for that by going to this volume again. And then you go to this number right here. Now you press R or this thing to receive quartz. And then you multiply it by 10,000. Copy that. And put it here. Same thing with these other two. Another thing is, every time you um, change the pitch, it always makes it quieter by some random amount. So I have to click on this. So this number right here, just type it in and just press OK after it. Okay, now type in 508. So you want to type it in every time, just copy it and then you paste it over here. Press this button right here so now it's like this. Same thing over here. And then the same thing over here. So now, you go to this convolution tool right here. You um, press clear and you add selection to it. You go to this one right here. From that to this. Same thing with this one. You um, go to the convolution, type in 1, clear, then add selection from this to this. Then last thing over here, you would do this. Go to 1, so it goes from this to this. Okay, and another thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go back to my filter right here.
put on my log scale, click on flat, go to like rhythmic. So what I need to do is make this zero. And then this also be zero. So our first one you do is at 440 hertz. Make sure that this is at zero. The next one is that this needs to go up to this needs to be at 832 at 15. This one over here needs to be at 588 at negative 15. And this last one. needs to be at 1050 with this being at 0 and then we get this so we went from this to this okay so now we need to go over here to base clarinet 1 F2 copy this then paste it here then we need to mix paste it 39 more times without me doing that back since so now we use this filter right here so I'll go to flat Make this that passive again. Make sure this is at zero. Is that one? And also turn spline curves back on. Okay, this first number needs to be at seven fifty. Actually, this needs to be down at the bottom. And then this needs to be at fifteen hundred. Now at the top, we go to three thousand. And then we go to 6,000 here. You press OK so you get this. Now with these three, you go to this thing. Don't change anything except make this 0 and make this 100. Same thing over here. And then same thing over here. Now you copy this and you mix paste over here without the loop on so you get this copy this one over here then you go over here and mix paste it and one more this one right here and then mix paste over here and now if I go 10 160 and then in 508 you would get this number if I normalize it let's see they match yep it's a perfect match which means I did it correctly so essentially, we just went from this to this. That's how you turn a bass clarinet into an alto nylinder. If you don't want to, if you don't know what nylinder is, it's an instant thing I'm going to invent in the future. I have a prototype on my channel, and I have other examples on my other channel. And I can have this it's like file. So if you want to be a do a tutorial, just let me know in the comments, and I can send it to you. So that's it for the tutorial. I'll see you later.